leader of a chicken theft syndicate that has stolen hundreds of thousands worth of chicken from poultry farmers in various counties is well known to the National Police Service. Now, Susan and her gang have been reported to at least five police stations, including Kisarian, Kabati, Kasarani, Roiro, and Runda. But no single arrest has ever been made, raising concerns over police involvement or complicity in the syndicate that has seen poultry farmers lose valuable investments and livelihood sources. Two more poultry farmers who fell victim to Susan Kamau and her gang narrated their ordeal to Seth Olale, who also managed to retrieve CCTV footage showing just how this ruthless syndicate works. The leader of a chicken theft syndicate that continues to terrorize female poultry farmers, Susan Kamau, is seen in this CCTV footage wearing a blue jeans trouser, red and black jacket with a white stripe. Susan Kamau's accomplice, who is also a member of the gang, is captured in a navy blue dress carrying a white handbag. The CCTV camera in Raraka, Kiambu County, captured the gang as it stole from a female poultry farmer based in Utawala on the 26th of November. The farmer had sent a Boda Boda rider to deliver 200 slaughtered chicken to Susan, who posts as a buyer on a social media page used by poultry farmers selling broilers. There's a lady I can figure him. Akaniambia, akonaonda ya kuku, anafanya Sahara West Hotel. Uh, Sahara West kukuruaka. So, akaniambia, anataka kufanya onda ya kuku miambili. The Boda Boda rider who delivered the 200 slaughtered chicken to Susan positively identified the runaway suspects captured by the CCTV camera after he, together with the poultry farmer, reported the incident at the Runda police station under OB number 28, 26th 11, 2022. <laughs> NTSA, but when I find a search on him, but what I put in a report. The CCTV camera also captured the runaway vehicle Susan Kamau and her accomplice used a white Toyota Ractis with registration number KCE 780R. Incidentally, Lillian Waivera's border border delivery operator, who also delivered 200 broilers worth 100,000 shillings to Susan Kamau at the Kisarian Total Petrol Station, also identified the suspect's vehicle as a Toyota Ractis. Actually, nilienda kwanza nika post kwa group ingine na jita anga post kwa group ingine hapo. Watu wakasema hui mama, anajulika. Kuna wa few people walisema anajulikana, kuna wengine walisema wanajua malimpaka wanasupply hizo, hizo kuku, hiko inini, hiko isli. We left Raraka and traveled to Kabati, Kandara constituency, where we met Grace Maina, another poultry farmer who had 150 broiler chicken allegedly stolen by Susan Kamau. Nikachinja, nikachinja. Wakati nikuwa napereka hizo kuku zilikuwa 110 sasa zote juu on Thursday alikuwa mereceive 90. Nikaona a debit has been made in your account of 75,000. I was like, nina ni huwa meoidro pesa kwa my account. Apart from Grace Maina from Kandara, Lilian Waivera from Kajiado, and her counterpart from Utawala, our investigations have established that Susan Kamau has been reported at at least five police stations, including Kabati, Kisarian, Runda, Ruiru, and Kasarani. Huyo mama ni kama anajulikana kwa sababu, mimi nilifika mahali ni kahona, Huyu mama ni kama, uh, hata kama sio mimi mkulima, yes mi nili feel, lakini nili oba sana na nika feel, mwisho nili muabia ni memuatia mungu. Lakini nika fikiria wacha ni post kwa another group. Wakati nili post, mimi wa mama kama wanewa menipigia simu. Kuniabia wameibiwa na the same woman. 
our investigations have also established that Susan has a total of five registered telephone numbers, but only two are operational at the moment. The signal of the two SIM cards have on numerous occasions been spotted in Ruiru. Seth Olale, Citizen TV, Nairobi.